Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for finding me. So the sun is finally shining. I've got a rare full of beautiful clothes from the new summer collection at Gap. So I'm really excited to show you what I found. So I popped down to London to the Oxford Street branch of Gap to have a little browse of the new summer collection. I wanted to find some pieces that would see me through summer in that casual everyday look, yet with a chic laid back kind of vibe. So really just breaking it down to those timeless pieces I know I will wear again and again. This lovely dress, I can't decide whether I go for the blue or the pink, which I think is really, really nice. It's a lovely tone of pink. Not too bright, not too washed out. So let me try that one on and see what you think. So blue or the pink? What do you think? They also have a denim customization service in store, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can choose to add an applique or have your name embroidered on the back of your denim jacket, for example. Of course, I would choose this one. Right, let me show you what I actually came away with. So as you can see, I found some gorgeous pieces in the new collection in store. It was really hard actually just to whittle it down to my absolute favorites. I think I spent about an hour in the changing room trying things on and I think and hope you're going to love them as much as I do. So first up, I went for this simple camisole top. If you've watched a few of my episodes, you'll know I love a good cami. And this one is perfect. It is made from 100% modal. I love modal. I think it's a really beautiful type of cotton. It's very soft. It's got a wonderful drape to it. And that's exactly how this camisole is falling. It's quite wide in the shape here around your waist, but that 100% modal with these little gathers across the sweetheart neckline here, just makes it fall and drape in all the right ways. And as you can see in some of that footage at Glastonbury, I just wore it with some boyfriend jeans, just really played it down and just a nice straw hat. So the only pair of trousers I got from Gap because I seem to have gone quite dress and jumpsuit heavy was another pair of the girlfriend chinos. And that's because I love them. They are so comfortable, the fit is perfect and it's one of those that if it's not broke, don't try and fix it. So I've already got them in the stone creamy kind of color and I've got them in the green sort of a traditional khaki. So I went for them in the blue. Same size, went for a UK 10 which is true to size for me. They are coming up a tiny bit big but I really really love the fit like this. The crotch is sitting a little bit lower, the waistband is sitting right across my hip bone. I feel super super comfortable in them and if it's a little bit long in the leg I just do a couple of turn ups on the hem. This is my perfect kind of fit, which is why I've now got three pairs of them. So next up, I went for this gorgeous utility jumpsuit. To say I fell in love with this jumpsuit is an understatement. I thought it was perfect for this summer. It's really, really on trend. It is ridiculously comfy as well. But the main thing for me about it is the fit. They've just got it absolutely spot on to create that really flattering shape. So I took it away with me for the weekend and as you can see in this footage here, I styled it just sticking my hair up in a bun with a headscarf on. That was kind of more out of necessity than particularly styling because my hair by day three at a festival looked absolutely awful. I had to stick it up out of the way. But I've worn it today just with a pair of sandals because I wanted to show you how versatile it could be. Dressing it a bit smarter, maybe put a nice structured handbag with it or a nice pair of flats and suddenly an outfit that looked very, very chilled out could actually look really, really smart as well. So I think it's a really versatile piece and I am so happy to have finally found a really, really lovely jumpsuit for my wardrobe this summer. So next up, I found this beautiful blue and white midi dress. Now I particularly thought this would be amazing for my holidays. It's very light, very floaty, and I love that blue and white stripe running through it. And I also thought it was just a very pretty dress to wear throughout summer, and I do love a nice pretty dress. Now you've got little tie straps over the shoulder here, and then you've got the smocking detail across the chest. If, like me, you don't like that annoying bulge at your armpit, then it definitely feels like it flatters that shape. You've got buttons all the way down the front and you can leave a couple of 
those buttons open at the bottom if you want to, just so it shows a little bit of leg as you walk. I'm worn with a couple of bangles, a nice straw hat and a pair of sandals. I think it's the perfect outfit for your summer holidays. So I've just accessorized with a lovely Panama straw hat that I found in store. I love this, I think it's perfect for this summer and it's probably gonna go with pretty much everything you've already got in your wardrobe. So next up I found this gorgeous linen blend jumpsuit and it's a really, really lovely fit. It's very strange for me that I've gone from having zero jumpsuits in my wardrobe to suddenly finding three just from one store that I really, really like. It must be something to do with the way they've designed the cut and the way that they're fitting. I just find them very, very flattering. Now I actually picked this one up thinking it was a dress because it's quite wide on the leg portion. You couldn't really see. I feel it's very, very flattering down the legs. It tapers really nicely across your hip section. There is definitely room to down a size if you want Wanted to if you really wanted it quite tight across the chest. I'm not bothered about that kind of thing. I've got nothing to show off on my chest portion anyway. I much prefer looking out for the perfect length in my body here and making it skim really nicely over my hips. And if it does that, it's good for me. Now, as you can see over the weekend, I styled it with a pair of trainers and kept putting the straw hat on and off depending on how hot I was feeling. You could equally wear it with a nice pair of sandals or some flats or even flip flops, etc. on holiday. I think it's chic enough on its own that you can get away with most things on your feet. And even at dinner as well, if you wanted to dress it up a bit with a nice pair of heels, I'd say go for sort of kitten heel kind of size, and that would just elevate the look even more. So another lovely jumpsuit, but most importantly, going along those lines of really everyday chic pieces that I can wear all the way through summer, feel like I've made an effort, but not trying too hard. They're just easy, relaxed, everyday kind of clothes, which I love. Now where the last jumpsuit was quite a lot smarter, you feel like you could definitely wear that for work and dress it up for the evening. The next jumpsuit that I'm wearing is much more relaxed and definitely the sort of thing I would wear on holiday, pop to the beach, go for lunch, etc. stick on a pair of flip flops. It's got the ease of a maxi dress where it's just a one piece, you don't have to do anything. It's just a really nice fabric and a really nice fit. So again, this is made from a linen blend, but it's a much thinner fabric than the one I showed you before. And that really works well in this lovely cami kind of shape. You've got concealed buttons down the front here and then a contrast drawstring at the waist. You've got nice deep pockets at the side seam here, which I think is a really nice detail. And and then the legs taper down really nicely. A much slimmer leg than the jumpsuit before, but not tight fitting in any way. In actual fact, I've got this in an extra small, and I'm not sure why I went for the extra small, because really I should have picked a small. And I think it's just a little bit snug on my legs for my own personal taste, just because I like them to fit very slouchy and relaxed, and I don't like it to pull anywhere. It looks lovely, I do really like it, I just think it would look even better if I'd gone for my actual size. Now, now, this is obviously the sort of thing I would wear on the beach with flip-flops etc. I don't think I would ever wear this one with heels. I don't think it's probably my style to do that. I much prefer this one particularly in a very relaxed fashion. When you've got this really nice cami shape across the chest I think it's nice to sort of get your hair up out the way. Maybe put a headscarf in that would work really nicely with it. Just bring in a touch of the blue etc. Or equally I think lots of straw details would look lovely with this and bring in those natural elements. So another perfect casual outfit that I know I'm going to get loads of use out of this summer. I find it really, really helpful, as I've mentioned before, to have a couple of pretty tops in my wardrobe every season. It doesn't really matter what you wear on your bottom half because when you find a very pretty blouse, you can let that do all the talking for you. So I just spotted this on the rails and I noticed this lovely cut out eyelet detail, which I thought was very, very pretty. I like the length of the sleeves and then it's got that eyelet design over the hem as well. I love the tunic style neck here and just got a lovely lace trim over that as well, which I think is another nice detail. It feels smart. It feels like the sort of thing you could wear to an office but it is equally a very pretty everyday sort of top throughout summer 
and that's why I like it because I think you can mix and match it and dress it up, dress it down. It's sitting just below my hip bone so it's a really nice length as well because of that lovely pretty eyelet design across the hem. It seems a shame to tuck it in because you'll lose that. So I've just left it out and because I've left it out and it's quite a wide shape, I've just started with a pair of skinny jeans just to really elongate my shape a bit more because I think if I'd gone with anything too wide on the bottom half it would look too blocky. I've added just a pair of day heels so as if I'm going out for meetings etc and I've just put on a simple headscarf to add a pop of colour and yet I feel smart enough to wear this to meetings etc so one of those really handy tops to have in your wardrobe. <laughs> So that's it. As always, I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Which was your favourite outfit that I found from the new collection at Gap? Personally, I love all of it, so I feel very, very lucky to have all these lovely new additions to my wardrobe. But I'd love to know if you could choose one piece which would be your absolute favourite. Don't forget, you can also find me over on Instagram at Fashion and Style Edit, and you'll see a couple of these outfits that we managed to get pictures of while at Glastonbury Festival. If you're not already subscribed and you like this video, you like how I style items, please do subscribe and press the bell button so you get notified each time I upload. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.